Hi, this is Volker and Jorgen. And hey, we found this really cool part of Salesforce. It's called the asset object. What the asset object does, it it uh, it looks at the stuff and tracks the stuff you have as a company. So like your inventory and how much you have and the terms and conditions. So we're gonna dive into that today. Right, in addition to that, the asset object links right into the contracts object. And the contracts object lets you do things like link it to Google Maps and does a satellite flyover to inspect something, say a roof if you're owning a building with, and the contracts allows you to depreciate that. But that's what we're going to dive into right now. Yeah. So, so what you got here, this is the assets object. We're going to click back on the main part here, click chunk. This is some assets I put in. So what it is, is the account name, that's the guy you bought it from. And this is like a bunch, like a group of things that you bought. So we're going to take a look at this asset. So this asset, this is the name I entered it and it's a free diver starter kit. And that free diver starter kit is a group of, of assets, a group of, of, of things. And then there, therefore you have these child assets. So like in the kit, you get a, 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 a mask and you get a, and in a Rob Allen 100, and it's got a serial number, right? So those are like bundled inside this other thing here. Yeah, and you could do this against a refrigerator or an apartment building or a commercial building. That's how Salesforce works. Parent and child assets. And then over here, if you scroll down, you see open activities. Like here, for instance, in this retail example, it's a 90-day unsold return thing. You can schedule tasks out of it that link right into it or send emails out of this. This is like a uh, case object on steroids. Uh, you can, that's the asset object is fantastic. It really is. It, it gives you good control. This is going to make your accounting guys happy. So, oh, there it is. There's the email that I sent about this. Thanks oh, for shipping yeah. it out. Huh, yeah, there we what go. do you know? It can be all set up automatically. So, you know, remind yourself, you know, when you got to do stuff, it, it does it. And then down here under the order object is where you link it to the contract, right? So here we go to that. And you can see this is your contract number. And here's the guy you bought it from. Here's your order. And here you can put in like I, your terms and conditions, warranty information, all that kind of stuff. Is that where you just use Process Builder to build automated processes like maintenance on the building every quarter or changes the oil or a reminder every five, five uh, three months? This is where Process Builder works great. And so like you can look at the order history, you can send stuff out right from here. Again, look at the activity history down there. It says just send an email. Yeah. You can have that automated, no problem with Process Builder or a workflow or, 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 or a simple trigger that when the time comes in the contract to do maintenance, remind the tenant or remind yourself or it depends who's liable to say, hey man, if you don't do maintenance, Right. You're not going to warranty it, for instance, like the starter dive kit here. If you don't clean your suit once a year, it's a warranty is no good. Right. That, and then that, that's big. And all of a sudden, you're legally covered right here, yeah. right in Salesforce. It's so easy to automate. And the nice thing is, is, is that when you got the sales guys out there doing uh, opportunities and leads, they can go click over to this and and see you know how many do we have in stock what kind of what what uh what do they need to do for to keep that thing happy so how does the asset objects link to contracts again is it through the orders through the orders that's right right so you actually have to have a product place an order and then it creates an asset with with whatever it is yeah and and the contracts are then used to enforce it and it's all automated pretty much pretty much wow that's great. So you could go have this go for 10 years. You could have a satellite fly over every two months to check on something. No problem. That's where the satellite imaging would come in. Yeah, you can use satellite imaging. You can do some data uploads into this. Uh, you can use this to manage your contracts. Uh, it's just, this is a really powerful part of Salesforce. Wow, Volker, thank you so much for explaining it. Yeah, I'm really happy to find this. And you know, in future videos, I'm going to go build out the depreciation portion of this and, and really flesh this thing out 
and make it fly and uh, we're shooting to come out with an app on the app exchange well it's exciting assets contracts legal typically loves me because of the contracts object i make uh, contracts objects without human error by using process builder and salesforce that's right you uh, gotta make accounting happy too because you're reducing risk uh, that's what we do, and that's why you have satellite flyovers with high-def uh, resolutions like we saw at the high-def meetup for all the satellite guys uh, oh, a couple yeah. nights ago. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Anyways, thank so, you hey, so much. Thank you.